Hey guys, welcome back to Bruner Tuner. Here we are with the 2021 Ducati Scrambler Desert Sled again. Still love this motorcycle and it is wonderful and everything I could hope for. But that being said, I would like some good gear to kind of supplement this thing now that we've added some more quality of life and uh, usability mods to this thing. So that leads me into today's sponsor. And this is big because we have yet to have a sponsor on this channel before. Sure, we feature products, but I want to thank Nice CNC for actually sponsoring this video and for providing us with this awesome 40 liter waterproof gear bag. Can't tell you how much restraint this took to actually uh, hold off on opening this for the video. Oh man, this is cool. Okay guys, here we are with the Nice CNC bag itself. So right off the bat, you'll notice that this is kind of a slick um, vinyl-like material. This is actually a 500D PVC um, material, which means that in addition to being very durable, it is extremely waterproof. That means that you can store all your precious gear in here, you know, your clothes, your electronics, whatever it may be. And you're not gonna have any kind of issue with water seeping into the bag. So that's a really nice feature right off the bat. And then secondly, if we look down here, you can see that the texture of the bottom, it's a little bit more like an alligator skin type texture. And so what this is, it is an extremely durable bottom. So let's say for some reason, um, this works itself off of your bike and starts dragging along the bottom on a you know rough terrain, pavement, whatever it may be. That means that it is gonna withstand that um, abrasion really well. So that's great. And especially because you know, if you're setting the bag down over and over again, like on rough terrain, if you're using this for hiking or, um, you know, whatever you might be using it out, be using it for outside of um, riding on a motorcycle, maybe you're camping, that is gonna be very uh, resistant to wearing down over time, which is gonna be really nice for that. And if we come to the side here, one of the nice little things here is this um, expandable pouch here, and you can also tighten this up as well too. I could see myself using that for um, you know, a water bottle or maybe say uh, you have like a map if you're hiking or camping or something, you could throw it in there. Um, I might even use it for like a mini tripod for filming and then just tighten this guy down, cinch it to where it's not gonna fall out. And then you have the nice kind of uh, Molly style webbing here like they use in um, military applications that you could use to um, attach something or run a strap through, whatever it may be. Then here on the front too, we've got a little bungee set up too. That's just kind of nice for a little bit more storage outside of uh, the setup itself. You know, you could have quick access items there um, that you want kind of like maybe a, a two liter of soda, two liter of Mountain Dew while you're hiking in the mountains or something. And then here on the front too, you've got this quick access pouch, which you could use for more quick access items that you want to be, um, you know, not exposed to the elements directly. And then we come to the side and we have yet another pouch here for a quick access item. Um, you've got these straps here on the side which actually connect to the top. And so you could um, cinch that down and keep that top really watertight and um, not exposed to the elements at all. And it's got these kind of little side indicators here that help with visibility. Let's say um, you're out at night and um, someone's looking for you. Hopefully they'll spot you better. Um, speaking of that, I did go with their yellow color, which is uh, kind of nice and bright and a little bit in your face. But, you know, for the Ducati, it's got gold wheels. It has that yellow shock on it. Um, I just think it's kind of a cool tie-in with that bike and it's gonna look interesting, but they do have the gray and black version like Taylor has as well too. So moving on to the back here, you'll see that it is um, kind of your traditional backpack style setup here with the uh, straps here that are padded. So that's nice. And then it also has the strap here in case, um, you know, you're riding and you want it to keep it a little bit tighter to yourself. That also be really nice while hiking and um, keep it you know from the side to side sway this kind of stuff is really nice in mountain biking with uh, like the camelback that i have and um, you can also quickly detach these it has a carabiner style clip attachment here as well so that is also really nice allowing you to pop those off pretty quickly padded back area here so if you're not familiar with this type of bag um, a roll top is really nice because you get this huge mouth on it right here just like that just like my first wife, Deborah. 
we don't talk about her anymore though. Um, so that's really nice to fit large items and we'll get into that also in a moment here as well. But um, one of the features of that is the fact that it is extremely waterproof, of course, as I mentioned, and you can really seal it off well. So what you would do, what you would do in that situation is you would take the top and it kind of has this um, rigid portion of it that allows you to kind of just roll and fold it like this. And so what you do is you zip that up. And of course it is waterproof along the zipper if you've ever seen like a Yeti style cooler. So you take that and then you fold it up just like this. And then what you can also do on top of that is take these side straps here buckle it down and keep this thing really cinched tight so and then you have that front strap as well too kind of securing the whole thing and you can really cinch that down and keep this thing nice and water tight so opening the backpack here let's take a gander in here and unwaterproof this thing for a moment because we're inside and it's safe and what you'll notice is that the bag itself comes with several straps. And this comes with three sets of these. It's pretty generous. Oh, I'm sorry, four sets. Yeah, it comes with four sets of these, so it's pretty generous. And you can use that to secure down the bag with whatever um, you're hauling this around with. Say you put it on your cargo rack or your um, sissy bar on the motorcycle. That's the upright seat that people use, um, like the backrest, essentially. So we open this up and you can see this thing is just cavernous, cavernous, cavernous. It's huge in there. And kind of pull this out. And um, I actually didn't realize this, but it has this um, inner, looks like also waterproof um, pouch here that you could store you know, your electronics in for even further waterproofing. Another thing here is it has this um, kind of durable pouch inside too. And let me show you something. All right, so what's cool about that inner pouch is that you could take a water bladder from another, um, you know, like a hydration pack, and you can actually take that and throw that on the inside here and kind of keep that in place. Of course, you could use that pouch for other things too, but um, that is kind of a nice thing that you could do with this. Now, while that is really cool itself, and I love all those features, I wanna show you the coolest thing about this bag. So I'm excited to show you guys just how much gear can fit inside this crazy bag. Let's check this out. So let's start by putting our water bladder back into the pocket in here. Throw that guy in. I'm gonna take a sleeping bag. Let's say we're going camping, we're going moto camping. Go ahead and throw that in there. Let's say for some reason, I don't know, I wanna take a different style helmet with me or I'm meeting someone along the way that I need them to have a helmet. Check that out. No problem at all. Just fits right in there like that. Swallows things up like me at the Chinese buffet. All right, let's pull the helmet out of there and let's set up a little camping scenario. Say you're by yourself. So, got the water bladder in there. I'm putting a sleeping bag here. And then I have this two-person REI tent here. Let's see if she'll accept that. Boom, no problem. Swallows that right up there with the sleeping bag. Okay, now, we all know that when we wanna go off the grid, we wanna be off the grid a little bit. We still want some electricity, right? Be able to charge our phone, maybe a laptop, whatever. Let's throw this electric generator in here. Let's throw some uh, more provisions in there. Let's say you need a shirt, some underwear. Don't look too closely at those. And some socks that are alien themed. Throw those on in there as well too. Maybe throw a hat in for some sun protection as well too. Let's say you like filming and you wanna take your GoPro with you shoot a video like I might. Seal that up in its little case here with everything. Toss that bad boy in there. Let's throw my phone and my wallet in there as well too. Let's put that in that waterproof pouch. 
let's say you go you are going off the grid a little bit and you want your battery pack slash your jump starter here throw that in there plenty more room left to uh, put some items into that waterproof section let's say the campsite's kind of boring and you want something to do at night load your nintendo switch up with all your games controllers throw that in camping is complete without some junk food so let's throw some uh some trail mix in there maybe some triscuits some gum i'm gonna say that's pretty loaded there on the inside let's go ahead and seal that up no problem we're gonna undo the valve here get the air out of here tighten that back up And then roll this zipper forward and tighten this bad boy up. But wait, there's more. Let's say you want to throw a little card game in there. Play that with someone while you're around the campfire. Throw that in the front. Let's say you want to read the Arrested Development book and cry like Tobias Funke. Boom. And then we can still even put stuff <clears throat> on the outside here. Let's throw a little water bottle here inside. And lastly, let's just go ahead and put a little tripod here on the side. There we have it. And even still, as I mentioned, you can put something here on the outside for quick access and still strap this thing through or add attachments to the side while this is maybe on your bike. Now, I don't know about you guys, but me, I'm ready to go to Goodwill and get rid of some of this trash. Hey guys, just wanna say thank you for watching our videos and thank you for watching this one in particular. I know this is a little bit different than our typical format. We don't usually do product uh, reviews or features, um, but this is the kind of thing that really helps us retain um, the ability to do these videos. You know, we're really not making anything on this channel. Um, Taylor and I both work full time, so it's really great to have these kinds of partnerships and, um, you know, be able to receive products like that and show them to you guys is really cool and important. So if you guys want to help out with the channel, um, we have a discount code for you. We will post that down below and um, you guys can get a bag of your own. Again, we're not going to try and tell you about anything that we wouldn't ourselves use. And I think this is a really cool bag and it puts us in a good opportunity for the channel to kind of help, um, you know, future video production and everything. So if you guys like what we're doing here and you want to support us, then maybe consider supporting the sponsors that help the channel. Please consider liking and subscribing if you guys enjoyed this video or you look forward to some of our future content and want to help us out with that crazy algorithm. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in our next video.